So guys, I want to talk about a fantasy fight that was mentioned. Um, Bob Aaron mentioned this fight a while back and he said, don't be ridiculous. Uh, and it was Terence Crawford v Vasil Lomachenko. Um, and he said Terence is too big for Vasil Lomachenko. Um, and I think he's right. I think Terence Crawford is too big uh, for Vasil Lomachenko. Uh, but I think Errol Spence is too big for Mikey Garcia. You know, I do think if Errol Spence, if Mikey Garcia can fight Errol Spence, then Terence Crawford could definitely fight Lomachenko. But here's the thing. Bob Arum's two biggest fighters right now, right? I know we signed Tyson Fury, but the two biggest fighters that he's got are, are, are Lomachenko and Terence Crawford. He's not going to put both of them in the ring together and potentially lose one cash cow because he views them both as potentially big cash cows. He's not going to put two of his cash cows in together when you know, especially one of them's at a big disadvantage. It's not like if he doesn't make that fight, it do, it's not like the fans are going to be like, oh, well, you know, you, that, that's a fight we want to see because it's not really because they know that Crawford's a lot bigger. The fight that people want to see is Crawford v Spence. Um, so it's not a fight which Bob Arum's going to get any stick up if he doesn't make. Uh, it doesn't make sense for him from a business point of view to make that fight. Also, uh, Lomachenko will be at a huge disadvantage because where would that fight happen? You know, what weight, you know, Lomachenko got dropped at 135. You know, Terence Crawford is very skillful. You'd say Terence Crawford's a lot more skilled than Linares. Um, and he's a very good fighter. So that would be a hard, hard fight, you know, for Lomachenko. And I don't think Lomachenko is big enough. I made a video yesterday that, you know, Bob Aram stated that, you know, Lomachenko is not big enough to fight at 147. He's not. Even if they do that fight at catch weight at 143, 144, he's still not big enough. Um, you know, and who knows, by putting on extra mass and size, that might affect his performance possibly. You know, the only problem is if he was going in fighting a guy a lower level at that weight, he could probably win. But he's fighting Terence Crawford, who's, who's again is up there with him as pound for pound, the best guy out there. So... That's the issue that uh, Lomachenko would have. Lomachenko is an exceptional fighter. And it, it does hurt you a little bit that, you know, he, he's not a little bit bigger because it would have been great to see someone like Lomachenko fight at 147 and fight these killers and monsters there, you know. But unfortunately, Lomachenko is not big enough. And, you, you know, he'd get, in my opinion, he'd get knocked out to Crawford, you know. Uh, I think the fight with Spence could be dangerous. I think any other big welterweights, it, could, it, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be great for him because those guys are very skilled and very fast, you know, so it would be very dangerous. And if someone like Linares can put him down, then what would Errol Spence or Crawford or Keith Thurman? Those guys are a lot bigger, stronger. So it, uh, Craw uh, Lomachenko is all right where he's at. You know, he's already moved up weight. We don't know what the future holds. We just don't know. So, uh, with the way boxing's going in the current climate, you won't be shocked if Lomachenko does move up to 147. In, in a couple of years' time. Um, but, you know, there's big fights out there for him. Mikey Garcia, if he, if he gets beat to Errol Spence, he comes down. Uh, that's a big fight. Javante Davis. But again, there's not a lot of stacked talent. There's not a lot of stacked talent. You know, he fights Mikey, fights Javante. Then what, where does, you know, there's not a lot of fighters. What, what he's hoping is that he gets himself in a position where he becomes such a big star that he can fight anybody like Mayweather and make huge amounts of money. But, you it does hurt you a little bit that he's not a little bit bigger because if he was he could have fought at welterweight and that would have been great to see him against all those guys at welterweight would have been great to see him but unfortunately he's, you know he's not that big and in boxing it's a physical sport you know size matters you know if you go up if you go up in weight and fight at a weight category which you don't really belong in you're going to get hurt you know many fighters have found that out Kel Brook Amir Khan learned that you know when they went when they stepped up weight and Lomachenko moved up to one, 135 and he got dropped by Linares. And Linares probably isn't the best lightweight. You know, you would probably say Mikey Garcia is a lot better than him. So, yeah, Lomachenko is a great fighter, but he's not a welterweight, guys. So leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.